let's solve the following initial value problem using Laplace transforms. So first of all, we have the second derivative of x with respect to t minus 2 times the first derivative of x with respect to t plus x is equal to 3 e to the power of t. And we've got initial condition x of 0 is 1 and the derivative of x at 0 is equal to 1. Now, um, for this equation, this differential equation, um, if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, then so are the Laplace transforms of the left-hand side and right-hand side. So um, I can simply find Laplace transform of the left-hand side. Um, I'm uh, going to split this up using the linearity of Laplace transform straight away. So this is the Laplace transform of the second derivative minus two times Laplace transform of the first derivative plus the Laplace transform of x, and that is equal to the Laplace transform of 3 e to the power of t. So don't forget to apply the Laplace transform to the right-hand side as well. Now, um, the Laplace transform of the second derivative, uh, you can look this up um, in the, on the formula sheet, is s squared times x minus s times little x at 0 minus little x derivative at 0. Um, then we've got minus 2 times the first derivative, which is s times x minus little x of 0. And uh, finally, we've got plus Laplace transform of little x, and of course that is just capital X. And that's equal to Laplace transform of the right-hand side, and uh, that is 3 over s minus 1. Now, uh, we need to solve this for capital X. So um, I will um, move everything that's got capital X in it to the left-hand side and everything else to the right-hand side. And at the same time, I will factorize. So I will get capital X times the S squared I've got here. There is also a minus 2S, so I'll put that here. And uh, there's just a plus X, so that's a plus 1. That is my left-hand side. Now the right-hand side already was 3 over S minus 1, so I'll keep that. And uh, I'll uh, add this, so I've got plus s x of 0. I also add the derivative, plus the derivative of x at 0. And uh, inside the brackets here, I have a minus 2 times minus x of 0, so that's plus 2x of 0. And to bring this on the right-hand side, it becomes a minus 2x of 0. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to um, just take one more step before I... Um, do anything else about the left-hand side. I'm uh, just going to um, simplify the right-hand side a bit. So I have 3 over s minus 1. s times x of 0. x of 0 is 1, so I get just plus s. The derivative of x at 0 is 1, so I get plus 1. And I get minus 2 times x of 0, so that's minus 2. So that comes to 3 over s minus 1 plus s minus 1. Okay, so um, let me move this and write this again down here. I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by s squared minus 2s plus 1. And as a result, I get capital X is equal to... Um, actually, before I do this, because this is going to look a bit um, untidy if I just divide by that, let's have a look at what this actually is. And as it turns out, this is simply s minus 1 squared. Now if I divide the right hand side here by s minus 1 squared, let me do this in two steps. I'll just repeat the right hand side and then divide the whole lot by s minus 1 squared. I can write this as 3 over s minus 1 cubed, this is 3, plus s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared, if I split this into two parts. Now, um, the first one will stay the way it is, 3 over s minus 1 cubed. The second one will nicely cancel into 1 over s minus 1. So the next step, we have to find the inverse Laplace transform of this. Um, so the inverse Laplace transform of capital X, because that is our lowercase x of t, and with that, the solution of the differential equation. Now, um, let's have a quick look. 
Uh, the 1 over s minus 1 is going to be simple. That is simply going to become e to the power of t. This bit, 3 over s minus 1 cubed, we probably want to rewrite in a slightly different way. Um, this is going to, I'm just going to write this here, no, actually up there. 3 over s minus 1 cubed. Um, if we had 2 over s minus 1 cubed, we could nicely read off um, the solution from the table, but we have a 3. So I'm going to write this as 3 over 2 times 2 over s minus 1 cubed. So I'm multiplying and dividing by 2 at the same time, and with that I'm not actually changing anything that I've got there. I'm just rewriting this in a different way. And now this part um, has inverse Laplace transform, uh, t squared e to the power of t. We've got a shift in here. This is s minus 1. This, makes, this creates the e to the power of t. And the 2 over s cubed becomes the t squared. But we still have a factor of 3 over 2 in front here. So what we get is 3 over 2 t squared e to the power of t plus e to the power of t. And that's the solution of this uh, second order differential equation using Laplace transforms. Thank you.